Hi, my name is Will, short for William, and my Xbox name is Chop Walnut. My family thinks that I play Fortnite too much. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, can you go tell Will that dinner's ready, please? Thank you. Will, it's dinner time. I'll be down in a minute. Just go. Let me finish this. <gasps> Hi, my name is Dr. Ann Ryan, and I am a children's behavioral psychologist at the University of Wisconsin. I first started studying the effects of Fortnite on children about a year ago when the game was released by Epic Games. Let's now talk Fortnite, shall we? It's the newest video game craze spreading across fast among kids, college kids, even celebrities. And while it's fun, it is also frustrating for parents and teachers and anyone else who's heard I can't. I'm playing Fortnite. Yeah, so we asked Gotti Schwartz to look into it, and surprise, surprise, Gotti got <laughs> hooked. Uh, but hooked might be an understatement. This is one of those viral games that is literally sucking productivity out of schools, out of workplaces, and you can forget trying to have a conversation at home. Yeah, but how long have you been playing for? Playing. I started playing Fortnite last spring break with my friend William Tripiate. I thought it was a really cool game back then. Why are you in here? Go! Go! Stop, Elliot. He watches Fortnite all day. I just really hope that things go back to where they used to be. Will was my brother. Hey! Get me in! Go! When we were just watching TV. Will's story was kind of similar to my son David's. In the early 2000s, we were really close. And then um, for Christmas, I got him a game that he really wanted, uh, Guitar Hero. He really thought that he was going to be in a band. He, he thought he was going to be a rock star, but so, <laughs> that's, not, that's not what happened for David. David has carpal tunnel syndrome. It's really severe. And I just don't want that to happen to Will, so. 
I'm here to help him in any way that I can. I don't think it's too late for him. stop playing Fortnite because it's just ruining time, but like, I can't, it's just too much fun. Stop. You're gonna kill me. My teachers usually say, you should stop. I like, <laughs> I just get really tired sometimes. I'm like, I can't study because I want to play Fortnite. I just really want to do what I like doing. Studying is not what it is. <sighs> Elliot, go! Ah! You're so annoying. Before we begin, does anybody have any concerns? I just want everyone to feel prepared for the emotional swell that we're about to experience, and I would like somebody to identify themselves as the leading family member. As well as mom, I'll take that. I'll take it off. Thank you, that's very strong of you. He's gonna need someone to guide him through this and be there for him. I think we can get behind this. Are we ready to bring Will down? On down. Do you feel like I'll, you're ready? I'll, yes. I'll, I'll do it. You are so strong. You're brave. You're like Sacagawea. That's why I married her. Strong woman. Will! Yeah? Can you come down for a minute, please? Why? Well, it's Poppy's birthday, and we're going to do cake and presents and stuff. Fine. Will, come back in this house right now. You are not permitted to leave. Come face reality in here. I'd like no. you to have a, have a seat on the couch, please. Will? Will? Will, I come back you, here. I need you to sit on the couch. We need you to come and sit down, please, so we can talk to you. I understand that you're feeling anxious right now. It's okay. It'll be all right. We just need to have a conversation with you. Just have a seat. We're all here in love for you. We love you so much, and we're just, we just want you to have a better life. Hi, Will. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Dr. Ann Ryan, and your family has asked me to come here tonight to help mediate what we call an intervention. It's an intervention. Well, your family has some concerns, as do I that you have developed a, what we call, video game dissociative disorder. And that is when the person that you used to be has taken a back seat to the person you are now because of your addiction to video games. I love my little boy. I promised myself I wouldn't do this. <laughs> Uh, 
You can hug him. Look what you did, your mother. Oh, I miss you so much. <laughs> we just want our son back. Oh, buddy. I think maybe if you just, you know, play Fortnite, like, just on the weekends. Would that be so bad? It's going to be hard. What's, what's going to happen if you stop playing Fortnite? Be hard. And what about it's going to be hard? Like me anymore. <laughs> Buddy, you know that's not true. It'll be all right. You can play it on the weekend still. It's just during the week. We need to make sure that. Don't get mad at me. I know how hard this is going to be, but I think it's it's time for you to cut it down to just on the weekends. Do you think that we can we can try that? I'm proud of you.